If your Android phone looks like this, it's just a brown screen with tiny text, that's pretty boring. You might want to spice it up a little. Fortunately, since Android 12 or newer, you've been able to use a lot of different color schemes. On Android 12, it was just blue, green, purple, and orange. But now with Android 14, there's like a million different combinations. So let's dive in and see how we can spice up our home screen and lock screen with some different color schemes on Android. To do this, you're gonna go into your settings on your phone, and within settings, you'll scroll down to wallpaper and style. So click on wallpaper and style, and you'll see I've got a simple solid color here. There's different clock options here, so you can change the color of the clock on there. Now I've got pink. There's different size options. It could be dynamic, it could be bigger, etc. Um, but if I want to get into the actual color palettes, I'll see some pre-selected palettes based on the wallpaper I've chosen here. So these are browns. You click the three dots right there and you can scroll through and see some different schemes. So they're all kind of basic. This is like if you love dirt, the desert, you might want just a brown background. I don't know. Other things you can do is click other colors right there and you'll have a whole list of other colors you can pick. You can also toggle on or off dark theme right there. So now I've just brightened things up a little. Um, and stick around as a bonus in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom wallpaper using emoji, different sizes, patterns, things like that. So some other options I wanted to show you are when you can pick your different wallpapers by selecting more wallpapers. And let's say you wanna get uh, Curated culture, for example. You've got all these pre-selected ones that Google has curated for you. There's some pretty fun, vibrant designs. So I can set this for my home screen and lock screen. I can already see that, wow, I've really livened things up on my Android phone versus that brown one I had right there. So I'm gonna set that as the home screen and lock screen. Okay, so now that I've set that, it's, you can see it's changed the different color pattern options for the accents. I can select different ones right in there. So as the bonus, now that you've seen all the options, you can also use your own photos, things like that. There's like so many options. I don't want to just overwhelm you with too much. Um, but as this bonus, here's a cool one that I found. When you click more wallpapers on here, right up top you'll see it says emoji workshop you can create a custom wallpaper. So once you get into the emoji workshop, you're gonna click the plus up top, and you can see that you can select different emojis and patterns on there. And not only the pattern or the emoji, but you can select how big it is, the different styles, and you can go through here. Um, let's say you're into, um, what is this, skiing. So you could have a skiing one and you could get rid of the other ones just have skiers on here. So now I've just skiers on my wallpaper. I could click patterns, stacks. I could make them bigger like this. So you can zoom in, you have big skiers on green. I can pick a different color. So maybe skiers should be on like a gray and white. If I want it more simple, blue, whatever I want. So that's how you do an emoji wallpaper. And you can do this for your home screen, lock screen, or both. If you just click that, look at that, we've got um, skiers on the background, home screen and lock screen. I've just set that on my phone, so if I go back to my home screen, things are looking a lot more interesting than that boring brown background that I had at the beginning. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you're on Android 14, the latest, or at least 12 and above, you'll have a lot more options than the older Android phones. And uh, you can spice up your phone, make it look cool. You know, if somebody's glancing over, sees your wallpaper, they may, uh, might ask you, you know, how can I make my phone look as cool as yours? And now you can show them. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.